Well, it's not very easy to see because I think my camera switched back to super mode for some reason. But I'm at a cat in West Virginia and I asked him on the night before, I said, is there any chance to sleep, spend the night in your yard? And they were a bit surprised by the question, but they said, no, absolutely not. There's no overnight parking. You know, I know why, because there's a gate. You see, we have all kinds of equipment over here. Some excavators, Bobcats, Cat 950M. And so they're loading this guy with some counterweights, with, which I'm pretty uh, certain are from my machine except the name on the door is different from what I saw uh, on the paperwork and we have a bunch of smaller machines in here so basically yeah these guys also you know they are rent like I know those are popular over there those Jenny zoom booms you know those uh, aerial work platforms I hate those usually what they have two features they know how to beep but they don't know how to move i'm telling you when i was uh when i was driving a tow truck that's how my trucking career started right driving a tow truck actually before that i, w I had a van i had a dodge 5.7 cargo van kind of like a passenger version except without windows and uh i was trying to make money as a courier delivery driver so actually, that was my first experience at commercial trucking except of course there was no trailer and i was now i understand i was an owner operator and i couldn't make any money so they had to repossess the van <laughs> took me like two days to persuade the broker to give me the original paperwork i know i need to have the original paperwork but i'm telling you like that's the problem with it's the customers you don't need it we do it all the time all right i said if i or and what i think what what helped is that i said okay uh and also of course don't forget you have to wash the machine and actually that's what they're doing now and i said okay so you're saying i said i will attempt crossing oh by the way yeah after that phrase i said i'm the guy they enjoy yelling at when i don't have originals i said fine i will attempt crossing with copies and then uh, that was to the customer who hired my broker and i said and then I sent an email to the broker. I said, they insist on me not needing any originals. So I said, I will attempt crossing. But I said, I have to tell you that if I'm... Because, it, yes, you can cross with copies. It all depends on the particular officer, what kind of mood he's in, you know. Uh, no, seriously. Like, it depends. It's like with police, right? If the guy's in a good mood, he'll, he won't give you a ticket. If you, even, you were driving, like, 200 miles an hour. You never know but if he's in a bad mood he'll give you a ticket for one mile over right so the same with cbp and so but i said chances are much better when you have originals and so i said if you if i'm turned back and i have to pay the toll three times to go over the bridge because that's what happens when they t turn you back i will charge you 800 us 800 dollars a day for detention okay and so and that finally i think got through you know to the broker and probably he he sent that copy oh man this guy is serious you know and i said yeah i'm not fooling around it happened many times before and check this out now they're loading some kind of a mast and now i'm positive it's from my machine it's a big uh mast <laughs> touching you know fully but this is still way better than before <laughs>
Okay, I all chained up. A few things I have uh, left to do is uh, cover the exhaust. And some guy sent me these. Very nice. Thank you, sir. And attach my flags. And then uh, check the height. Now, in West Virginia, just like in Michigan, they insist on pretty much four flags. You got you gotta have a flag on each corner of the machine, and then you want they want they wanted to have a flag on the widest point. So I'm gonna put one here, one there, and then I saw a diesel a diesel fuel here not too not too cheap but still better than better than um, see the problem with this is that when you're driving this thing will start flapping like this if I put it here you'll be flipping here yeah, this one is getting bad, so I might need to replace this one. But... Maybe I'll just use a strap. Because, yeah, once they start flapping, they don't last very long, you know? Like, somewhere where it's open, like, they're in the middle, right? In the middle, it's good. But... Might be better to do like this. Oh, beautiful. It's a bit torn, but this is West. This is West Virginia. It's not that important here. This one doesn't have the... It's gonna break. Like I'm gonna lose this one pretty soon. Yeah, I don't like this. Hold on. You know, the more the merrier, right? As they say. Because this will be the side towards traffic. Okay, I think I'll just use a regular flag. If I can find them. Yeah, so diesel is uh, 375 at the small station over here. And on the way here, I saw four. I want to check this one. I still have this one. Oh, beautiful. Now, in case someone is wondering, that kettlebell over there, it's the counterweight. Because the driver is on the left. So, DOT regulations state that only in, only in West Virginia, only in West Virginia, you must have a counterweight on the passenger side if you don't have a passenger.
Yeah, lucky for me this one is not the muffler is not as tall as on that old one. Remember I moved that old uh, what was it? It was also a cat but it was a different different quite player model. Now my front now is jerked up because I thought I would be backing because there was a guy here and I wanted to I wanted to get out of the way but the tallest point is this I'm not sure. I thought they were removing the winch. No, you see the winch is in the back. Okay, we are. That signal light over there sticks out, but 140. 140 inches to the deck. Now remember that important number. Because again, that will be a test. So, 140. So, let's see, 140. One. 166 which is 1310 which is perfect because that's pretty much what I ordered my permits for but we're gonna we're gonna drop the suspension and see now it's super tall so we're gonna go down and I'm gonna drop that I think we should be all right All right, I sent pictures to the broker, so the master battery switches off, chains on, flags on. Yeah, I hate when I, but I don't have a choice. Like when the boards, you know, you have to tie down the, over the boards, and of course they start rising, but that's pretty tight in there because it it uh, pushed the board against the track. And uh, we uh, we loaded a little bit off center. And you see, I'm, the guy was not too happy, but I asked him, I begged him to bag this on so that the widest part is that one is going to be on the shoulder. So, and you see, it's, it's cool that it's very tall, right? Maybe I should put a flag in there. No, it's okay. So it's very tall if, if, if I run into some Jersey barriers, you know? Um, the machine itself like it sticks out a little bit the track sticks out a little bit over here but yeah, I didn't want to I didn't want him to move too much so I just moved him a little bit when he was coming in you see like that big winch like to be centered it would have to go like maybe two fingers or maybe three this way because you know it's pretty heavy so if you Put it to one side you know my trailer will be like this and i could i could damage something maybe like shocks or something i don't know 
but this looks good so i got i don't know i put so many chains on the guy was watching me he says oh how heavy is this i said i don't know but i said i always chain so that if i flip over the machine stays on the deck i said that's my principle and he said okay better safe than sorry yes sir all right and my permits are printed out and i have my route see what stuff is here it's like the, the, the over here it's nice but the parking lot is all dirt that's why it's so messy you know it's, when you do heavy haul it's it's not easy to keep your truck clean all right let me back out a little bit and then i'll go go get fuel and time now is uh, what's the time almost 11 o'clock so pretty much and i also want to grab some something to eat because after this it's gonna be pretty much non-stop you know i will try to reach uh, petro in north baltimore but it's 250 miles and with this huge thing i'm not sure I'll have enough time but I just want to reach if I cannot make it to you know I-75 and um, and North Baltimore at least I want to make it to to uh, US 30 because there's a lot of truck stops on US 30 you know but with a load like this yeah it can be a problem finding parking right because I definitely need like two parking spots right okay uh, pressure down this thing up sometimes what happens when you have a heavy load you have to push into the ground to release the handle otherwise if you try to do it when you're in the air it's not gonna go I'm talking about the safety There's a big hump in here, and also I see uh, at the exit. I want to make sure that my my neck is high enough. Let's see. Let's see now the pressure is coming back in. I think we should be okay. Or I can check it up, but then I'll have to put it down. So this way I can just hook up to the trailer I think this is good all right so let me go get diesel and then uh, we'll do some driving
and that's it. I'm in Ohio, so uh, so now we're just going to uh, about 44 miles to I-70. That's my uh, first detour, right? So how I, I showed you guys before. So I have to go like west on I-70 to the next exit and then take uh, 209. 209 north and then we're going back to I-77 and then after that I stay on 77 pretty much all the way to exit 178 and I looked up at uh, on the truck path to see if there's any truck stops at the exit and sure enough there's a small truck stop I checked the satellite photo looks like a big yard even though it doesn't have too many Spot, spots listed but it's a pretty big yard I know I can get in so that's 140 kilometers from here or about what 90 miles okay I might have enough juice in the battery guys to show you this crazy situation here you see what <laughs> I had to go left to turn right not to knock down the lights because nobody likes that you know like people are driving all the lights on the ground but so I left a bunch of space in there and of course everybody's now going that way now we have some sad looking gentleman over here trying to cross the street and I know what he's thinking he's thinking I don't want to get run down by a pipe layer because you know that's that's your typical citizen biggest biggest tragedy all right so what do we do here if I stay okay we're gonna stay in this one because there's too much stuff on the right shoulder there some flags I'm gonna knock down some of those for sure if I be in the, if I'm in the curb lane. So yeah, for some reason I don't know they sent me this. You see, like I went west to the next exit. So right away I had to break across three lanes of traffic, which is of course a very you know fun thing to do with the with the oversized pipe layer. <laughs> because I came in from 77, it was a left exit, uh, and then you have to. In, do immediate uh, lane shift to the right piece out of that lane Says uh, two twenty two forty. Yeah, I need I need to go east on forty. I 
I cannot go on Woodland Avenue, I'm sorry. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, that's not a truck route. Yeah, that's how I should go. 209, 240 East. No shortcuts. I was just talking to a friend of mine, the, the freight broker in Alberta. He says over there it's minus 29 Celsius. Minus 29 Celsius. Over here, it's plus 10. called I-70 alternate route which is US 40 and it's also US 22 there's probably some construction that I did not notice on the because I was driving this way right on 77 I did not see some, anything over here I don't remember but maybe there's some um, as I call them, weak ass bridges. Now, actually, surprisingly, this time I really got lucky. I don't have a single restricted bridge on my route. You know the ones I'm talking about where you need a pilot? You need one civilian pilot and you need one police pilot. And it all costs a lot of money. Just because you have, let's say, two bridges like that, it will be like five, six, seven hundred bucks, you know? So maybe that's why they send me this way, because I'm guessing bridges here are stronger for some reason. of Cambridge hold on Cambridge Ontario now this is gonna be fun favorite dart method in action dart method that's how you you send a, a 12 10 wide truck you send through a, a town center that's how you do it <laughs> unbelievable the 
people are looking and they're thinking, what is this guy doing? Is he lost or something? Like, what? The... I like they have these cool statues over here. Like, see this? to I-77. And now we have these beautiful light posts on the right. FedEx guy will come back tomorrow, I mean tonight, to his honey. And he's like, can you believe this? I'm trying to make a U-turn in this small yard with, where where is nothing ever, anything happens interesting. And all of a sudden I see this humongous pipe layer. Cat, I know, it was Cat BL83. I know all my cats. Unbelievable. He says, I wanted to take a picture, but my cell phone ran out of the battery juice. I would feel so much better when I'm back on 77 but I don't like the what Google Maps shows me for a ramp it's basically there's no straight ramp you have to take um, some kind of a side street over there okay here we go junction I-77 man that that light was low all right what do we got Reese Beck's food markets on the right family dollar US Bank and this the main drag is called the Wheeling Wheeling Avenue so basically you cannot go here if you don't have wheels so no no skates no skis basically wheels only this one so we're going over I-77 that's I-77 so that's uh, 77 south oh but actually it's pretty good so it's, it's very wide you see the bridge is very wide okay wait a second which way are we going no that's not this way Well, it is a little bit crazy. something about this entrance that I didn't like it was too sharp you know all right an 
now it's straight north to exit 87 which is only 66 clicks or 43 miles away and that's where my truck stop is that's I think it's like I said Stewart Stewart Ohio and I'm gonna stop there for coffee and uh, check my chains and keep tracking after that and time now is 10 to 1 so it took me almost an hour to get here But so far so good. So I guess I'll stop here. Um, I'll do an update over the weekend because uh, uh, I'll be sitting uh, somewhere near near uh, North Baltimore till Monday. So I booked the pilot, uh, that lady Teresa I worked with before. Uh, we're meeting uh, 9 o'clock in Toledo at the Michigan-Ohio line. And so if I don't make it to uh, uh, North Baltimore today, uh, in Ohio I can drive on Saturday until 3. So I'll do the rest tomorrow and just basically now I'll have to wait till Monday and uh, I might do a few pictures just check this out because this is a you know I don't do these big dozers or pipe layers uh, too often so I'll make sure I'll take a bunch of pictures and maybe uh, maybe post uh, pose, you know, I mean, pose myself in front of this ugly dozer. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload them to, to my uh, Pixels website. 